Okay, let's talk about Mary um, being perpetual virgin, and I'll throw two objections your way. Mm -hmm. If you can think of more, you can share them with me. Uh, number one, it clearly says that Christ had uh, brothers, and so therefore, uh, m you know, Mary isn't a virgin. Uh, um, she had children after Christ. Second of all, it says that Joseph didn't know Mary until mm -hmm. she gave birth. Mm -hmm. Well, that word until seems to imply that there was a point that he did, ha did have conjugal relations with her. Third objection is, well, I thought you Catholics were supposed to say that sex was holy and good. <laughs> and so if you're so hung up on her being a virgin, then it seems like you're implying that there's something wrong with sex. So there's, there's kind of three objections for you to respond to. You want to go first, William, and I can fill yeah. in the blanks? And by the way, that last one... I think I'm going to have that beer. Yeah, it, yeah, it definitely. just feels appropriate. Oh, it looks very cold, too. Very it? cold. I'm going to pull up my Bible just right. so I can uh, be... While you do that, I'm going to reread everything Matt said in the form of a listener's question. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Anne Sirising Sun. Yeah. Oh, it's Anne Rising Sun. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stump me. That's the Bible states Greek. her husband did not know her uh, until after Jesus' birth, and know her in quotations. There are biblical references to, to Jesus' siblings. Absolutely. Uh, Joseph married her to create his family. Mm -hmm. Did you catch that? I did. Yep. Okay, let me... Um, number one, I think it is really important to point out, you're right. You have the brothers that are named. They're named in the Gospels. And I think the common reply from a Catholic, Matt, would be, and I've, I, I would utilize it a lot too, would be that Adelphos, the Greek word for brother, and Adelphos for, for, for sister, it's not always utilized for blood siblings. We can agree with that. Not all the time. In fact, many times utilized for nephews, cousins. But I think we need to go beyond that. Because our evangelical friends will come back, Matt, and they'll say, okay, but everything is depending on the con context, right? And then they will go to Mark, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 6. Let me go ahead and read it. They will usually begin in verse 3 where it says, is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? Mm. So they were offended at him. And Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor, except in his own country, and among his own relatives, and in his own house. Now, we have to be fair, Matt. It just named all the brothers. And it tells you, mm. son of Mary, brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon. So I know that Adelphos doesn't always mean literal b blood sibling, but what else could the context be, right? You would think. Mm -hmm. How are they not as blood siblings? And I think as we break it down very clearly in the book, Matt, when you look at it in the Greek, you get the clearest indication that they cannot be children of Mary. Number one, when you, you read the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon, we then go to verse 4, where our Lord will reply, says, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own country, and among <clears throat> his own relatives. So he's referring to the relatives and in his own house. So two big problems. Number one, there is relatives. Number two, they're in the house. How can they not be children of Mary if they live in the same house? So we need to tackle both. Number one, when you look at the Greek, Matt, you get the answer right there. Because when it says among his own relatives, the Greek word utilized here is singenusin. That can never be utilized for blood siblings. So in other words, that is well, utilized for cousins or relatives. Of the same mother. Of the same mother, yes. They cannot be children of Mary. Mm. By, and, and by the way, Father has probably done the insane job, uh, has done the insane job of looking at every usage of it. Mm. It cannot be utilized for children of Mary. They cannot be children of Mary. We're literally being told, okay, they're the brothers, but how are they related? Because the Bible calls people brothers and sisters in many ways. How are they related to him? And we're literally told they are his relatives in verse 4. But it utilizes that particular Greek word to tell mm. you they're related. How? Likely probably cousins. But they're not. It has That particular Greek word has got to exclude Mary. 
she cannot be the mother of those children. Yeah, and so what we have here is, uh, let's take a, a listen um, to uh, what is going on here, which is something like, And when the Sabbath had come, he began to teach at the synagogue, and many hearing him were astonished, saying, Where did this man get these things? And what wisdom is this which is given to him, that such mighty works, hey, that's familiar, that's Mary's own thing, you know, these mighty works, are performed by his hands. Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James, Joses, Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? So they were offended at him. But Jesus said to them, so these are Je- this is Jesus' response to his enemies' list. A prophet is not without honor, except in his own home and his country, and among his own cousins of a different mother. Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's the word. That's the word. Mm. Cousins <clears throat> of a different mother. So the first group that is mentioned by his enemies are his brothers. There are three of them. No, four. James, Josie, Judas, and Simon. Jesus calls them as a group, my relatives of some other womb, brothers of another mother. That is exactly what it means, and that's the only thing it can mean in the Greek. Jesus is the reason why we don't believe Jesus had brothers and sisters yeah. who were siblings. Am I right in thinking, too, that when you look at the crucifixion account, you see that these people are the sons of a different Mary? This is a William specialty. Yeah, you definitely do, and you find that in the early church as well, Matt. Now, the one thing I would add is people will then note how a lot of early church fathers just really don't identify how they are related to him. But you've got Hegesippus, and you have many others that will point to them being cousins. A second century church historian. Yeah, and he, and I'd add this, as Father pointed out, he wasn't trying to do an apologetic in that work. He was merely recording history, church history. The other really, really important thing, and I believe we, I think I'm positive we bring it out in the book, the reading we just gave you in Mark, in the Gospel of Mark, was noted by Jerome. St. Jerome caught that very same reading. Interesting. So the incredible thing is, Matt, is that Catholics very often will reply with, well, brother doesn't always mean brother, and, and we agree. But our evangelical friends want more. They want you to show them how it cannot be literal brother here. And their requests are reasonable. Without a doubt. We have got to be, we have to realize, and with all due respect, Matt, they love the Bible. They're Bible-loving they're not. A lot of them are not trying to be hostile. That's so right. We we need to reply they be to them faithful to the Word of God without a doubt. Good for them, and if we can show them from the Word of God, in fact, Matt, you'd be shocked that a lot of them have reached out to us and told us we can get on board with that about Mary. We've got no problem with Mary being perpetual virgin. We don't believe it takes away. We rather we believe it gives even more honor to our Lord. And the other thing that I would add, Matt, is that. The belief that Mary remained perpetual virgin her whole life, even though we won't have the time to go through it, was held by all of the reformers as well, Matt. Is that true? Can Calvin you, didn't uh, Calvin sway on this? I know never. at one now, point. Now, I've heard, the only argument I've heard, Matt, has been from somebody claiming that Martin Luther swayed from it towards the end. I've looked at Luther in German. At the okay. very end, he never, ever right. swayed from it. Calvin was very strong. Luther, Calvin, Zwingli, Tur- Turretin. Hmm. Wes. And what's interesting about these characters is not only are they affirming the perpetual virginity of Mary, but they're responding to objections that com- like modern-day Protestants yeah. would offer, such as the one I just offered, but then also the one where it says Joseph didn't know her until yeah. she gave birth. Yeah, before we move to that, yeah. let's finish out this passage, and then we can tackle that. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, we just said that Jesus responded to his enemy's list by saying that the person that they name— Brother James, Brother Josie's, Brother Judas, and Brother Simon are in Jesus's tit for tat response people he says, These are my brothers of a different mother. But the second group they name are these girls that live in Nazareth in mm. Joseph's house. And he, those are called by his enemies Jesus's sisters. So we've taken care of the brother issue. Mm. But what about these sisters? Couldn't those be his biological siblings? Uh, fully, full siblings. And of course, the answer is yes. I think it demands a response. They could be until Jesus also includes them in his list of responses. He Hmm. says that a prophet is without honor, not only among his own relatives, brothers of a different mother. 
he says, but also of his own household. Now, to you and me, that sounds like normal language. But the divisions that Jesus is using here between brothers of a different mother and household, Jerome directs us that this is Jesus quoting from the book of Numbers and the divisions of the families in Israel. This is a family division that is mandated by Moses to divide people according to whether or not they are brothers of a different mother or whether or not they are even uh, different kinds of relatives that could be uh, more distant. And th those are called household relatives. So these divisions are Jesus quoting numbers as the response to who these individuals correspond to in his family structure. So what we have here is not only the certitude that Jesus is just listing off his family members, but the source for Jesus using the division of his family to identify with these individual named people, and that is the book of Numbers and the way that you take, mm. uh, what do we call those, a census mm -hmm. of the people of Israel. Thank you. I, I, uh, it's funny, as I was talking, as you were talking, I looked up Jesus' brothers, Catholic answers, enter, and I pulled up an article, and it's mine. <laughs> I don't even remember writing it, but here's what I said, and you tell me if I'm right. Mm. James and Joseph, also called Josies, who are called Jesus' brothers in Mark 6, 3, are indeed the children of Mary, just not Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mm -hmm. After St. Matthew's account of the crucifixion and the death of Jesus, he writes, quote, there were also many women there looking on from afar who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him, among who were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Clubs. James and Joseph, yeah. and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. So that yeah. seems to very clearly indicate that these women looking on uh, were not the Mary who was by the foot of the cross. You're correct. Yeah, and another argument that you hear, Matt, will be that um, in the Gospel of John, they will try, unfortunately, they'll try to connect the figure titled the other Mary as being Mary, the mother of Christ. But clearly it is not. Mary is never, ever called the other Mary in the Bible. <laughs> and I've looked at a ton of early church fathers and not a one of them ever identified that Mary as Mary, the mother of our Lord. More so, Matt, uh, if you look at it in the Greek, to call Mary the other Mary would have been very odd because Mary, the mother of our Lord, had already been identified. Why would you need to then later on identify her as the other Mary? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Your article is great, by the way. Oh, thank you. I don't know if you've read it, have you? I have. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> this is where I used to work at Catholic Answers back in 2012. <laughs> Many things came pouring out. I can't keep track of them all. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Before you go, I want you to go and download the best Catholic app in the universe. Hello, H-A-L-L-O-W dot com slash Matt. Why am I saying slash Matt? Because if you go to the website and download it there, click the link in the description below, you can try the app, the full app out for three months. If you don't like it, cancel. You won't be charged a dime. It's a very reasonable monthly rate. But as I say, you won't get charged for the first three months. Please go check them out. They've got excellent things over there like sleep stories and litanies and novenas and audio books. It's all very professionally done and I'd highly recommend it. Hello.com slash Matt. That's, and I'm just double checking. Hello.com slash Matt. Link in the description. <laughs>